Now you've set Scarlett as Ableton Live's audio device, let me show you how to record audio to a track. Start by saving the session. Go to File, Save Live Set and name your session. Now you want to change Ableton Live's view. When starting a new Ableton Live project, it will open in Session View. We want to switch to Arrangement View by pressing the Tab button. Switching to Arrangement View displays the arrangement, which contains music laid out along a timeline, much easier to work with whilst recording. Let's delete the two tracks titled MIDI, as they're MIDI tracks that we won't be needing. We'll also delete the second audio track, that we won't be needing either. Click on the input channel drop down menu and select the input channel you want to record from. Channel 1 corresponds to input 1 and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your Scarlet and so on if you have a larger device. I'll be selecting channel 1 to record input 1 from my Scarlet. The record arm button enables a specific track to be ready for recording. Let's select the record arm button on track 1. Press the record button in the top transport bar to start recording. Play your instrument or sing into the microphone connected and you'll see the waveform being recorded onto the track. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la la. To stop the recording at any point, press the space bar or the stop button. You can play back the recorded track by pressing the space bar or the play button. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la la. To create a new audio track, select Create in the top menu bar and select Insert Audio Track. Configure the input settings and you'll be ready to record. Remember, Channel 1 corresponds to Input 1 and Channel 2 corresponds to Input 2 of your Scarlet, and so on if you have a larger device. <laughs> 